Okay, we're shooting in on the Samsung Galaxy S3 at 1080p at 30 frames per second. And honestly, I wanted to put this in the review because honestly, I think the camera quality is very luxurious and very great for a cell phone. And you hardly ever see people put the camera and picture quality into video. They just tell you, well, it shoots 1080p video, but they never show it to you. So honestly, if you guys are looking into getting a great phone that shoots high quality 1080p video, I would highly recommend picking up the Samsung Galaxy S3 because it shoots very great video. It's on par with the iPhone 5. Okay, hey, what's up, guys? We're looking at the Samsung Galaxy S3 that I just picked up. Honestly, yeah, I think this phone is great. It's fast. It's quick. Let me go ahead and turn it on. And like I said, this phone's very, very uh, snappy. Uh, the camera loads very quick, very quickly. Let me go to this view. And as you can see, uh, I'm standing behind the camera. And honestly, I love this uh, camera. It shoots 720p at 30 frames per second on the front-facing camera. You can also do 1080p on the back, 720p on the back. And you can also do 640 by 480, which would be uh, standard definition. If and I, what I like about Android uh, Jelly Bean is... The way you can close apps, you don't need to have a task manager like on old, old HTC Droid Incredible. And on that phone, honestly, I actually had to download a task manager, which I didn't really want to do that just so I can close apps. And on here, you just hold the home screen down, or the home screen, the home button, and you could hit task manager. Uh, Google or remove all and you can hit task manager and it's telling you uh, How much megabytes it's using and how much CPU is using Love to be able to actually just hold pick up my phone look at the weather cuz I here in Florida You honestly never know if It's gonna rain or it's gonna be sunny because sometimes it could look like it's 95 degrees outside and it ends up being cold and rain. And honestly, guys, um, you can see my battery life is probably about 30%. And I've been using this phone all day, texting, going online. So honestly, the people who say Android always eat a lot of battery life. Honestly, I have to say the Samsung Galaxy S3 performs very well. I, I Now I see why people use Android because, like I said, I've always was a BlackBerry user. And then I recently picked, like I said, went to Android, and I was like, wow, Android's very easy to use, very nice to customize. Um, it's just a very luxurious screen, and honestly, and as you see, it loaded very quickly. So for those people who always want a phone that's lightning quick, uh, I'm going to be going to phonedog.com. And as you see, it loads very... At least very where I live runs very smoothly and is very quick and is very fast. So I see why the Samsung Galaxy S3 is the number one Android phone out there right now. I think the Samsung Galaxy S4 is going to be a lot faster. Uh the same belt quality and honestly I was thinking this phone would actually be a little too big for me I just thought okay a 4.7 inch screen would not be all that great but honestly I love the screen size I think it's great for watching YouTube videos and let me know in the comment section below if there's any apps or like customization or any back that you can recommend, like I said, I'm a first time Android user and I would love to actually add some cool backgrounds and uh, maybe maybe add like a nice uh, custom keyboard and all that. So like I said, this phone, if you're coming from a Blackberry or you're coming from iOS, I would highly recommend this phone. As you can see, um, all the apps that I uh, use on a regular basis.
But um, like I said, I never had any drop calls with this phone as of yet. When you use your phone, you should uh, only charge it when the battery is totally dead. But honestly, I love And one thing I do love about this uh, phone is, is the actual uh, thumbnails of videos right here. The actual screen is, is very, very vibrant. It's a 720p display. So with that said, guys, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And honestly, I highly recommend anyone picking up the Samsung Galaxy S3. It has 16 gigabytes of onboard storage with a 64 gigabyte memory card. So if you're looking to get a lot of memory and you're going to lose a lot of apps, it's a great phone. And honestly, for a first-time Android user, I would highly recommend it. Because like I said, this is my very first Android phone and I love it. It's very easy, very customizable. Uh, it's very snappy, as you can see, and um, I will definitely see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.